so I want to take you back then because you're yeah you talk about being a sort of a whirlwind um season I mean your England debut was in fact a test debut in an ashes no less what are your memories of that day uh yeah it's kind of I still can't really find the words to describe sort of that experience um it is it is strange to say that my like you say that my debut was a test test debut because I was, I don't think many people have done that um but yeah it was oh, it was awesome I love playing the format as well it was it was such a interesting way to play the game and actually hopefully we can play more in the future because I thoroughly enjoyed it and I think a lot of the other players enjoyed it as well and it made obviously for the five days as well it made for a very very good game in the end. Yeah, it really, really was. You went on to then, of course, make uh, your ODI debut in September and you finished as the, the leading wicket taker with eight uh, across those three matches as well. It was actually quite momentous because there was you and Mahika Gore and Maya Boucher all making ODI debuts. Um, in the past, players have often talked about, you know, the, the step up from domestic to international. How have you found that transition now, would you say? Um actually quite smooth but I think it was more down to the people who I had around me um like the coaching staff and the players it, it just was such a relaxed environment and for me they didn't put much pressure on sort of um run like how many runs people have scored and so that sort of thing it was like you're an impact player we want you to try and take wickets if you go for runs don't worry someone else can kind of pick that up um but yeah, and it it just it made it it made it feel so much easier to kind of go into that sort of um that challenge and people obviously backing you all the way. Um Heather's I, I've known Heather for quite a few years, so it's nice to ha kind of have her as captain and she kind of understands my game quite well. So it's um it's always good kind of on the pitch and off the pitch with um the coaching staff as well, when they everyone kind of understands your role and um and yeah and then you can kind of try and perform to the best that you can and even everything that goes around the sort of the circus the paraphernalia the the attention on international cricket is is that step up made easier because of the the development of the domestic game and the for example the the televising the event nature of the hundred yeah I think so I think if that had happened a couple of years ago I think I would have uh been probably a bit more nervous um yeah, no, it's, I think, like you say, the hundreds definitely made a difference within the media. I know I'm still probably not <laughs> that media trained. Uh, I know I got the first interview I had to do was about sort of Australia and about the competition. And um, and that was quite nerve wracking because I didn't want to say the wrong thing. Um, You're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. But, uh, but yeah, so it's, yeah, it's definitely obviously the profile of the hundred and hopefully the domestic game will probably get more televised games. I know there was a few double headers this year which is obviously a really good thing as well um, because, yeah, it's just it just makes the women's game more heard of. And I think, like you say, it's easier to go from regional cricket into sort of international cricket when you do have that balance of the media coverage. Yeah, there was lots of talk, wasn't there, about the, the double headers and perhaps whether they should be flipped with women's games occasionally coming, you know, as the, the second game. What's your feeling around that? Um. Do so you know what? I think the double headers is such a good thing. Um, I, I I've never played one with the other way around, so I wouldn't I wouldn't know sort of how the effect of it. Um, I think the way we're doing it at the moment, I think works. So if they want, if people want to try it, then try it. But I think like the way we're going forward with it, and if we can try and do more of that, I think that's that's probably the way way forward. I think. And what about your own bowling then? Particular targets, skills that you want to work on? Uh, is it all about the pace? Talk me through what your aims are going to be for the, the next 12 months, though. Um, it's it's definitely not about the pace. I think it's I think with the women's game developing the way it is, I think I need to start working on sort of variations of how I'm going to deceive the batter. Um, I think in the hundred it was quite prolific that I, I think. Uh, Sophia Dunkley faced 